Now we know just how serious Dodge is about reinventing American muscle for the electric vehicle era. Early in 2022, we will see the first Dodge electric muscle car concept, followed by a plug-in hybrid and a third significant vehicle. So it ain't no secret. I've made videos about this in the past. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. If you guys are Mopar fans, if you follow anything that has to do with Dodge and Stellantis, then you know that they are kind of you know, moving towards electric, they're moving the Hellcat, uh, the 6.4, the RTs, you know, they're moving all of the gas powered engines out and moving all of the electric in as well as everybody else in the industry. You know, that's just where everything is headed, you know, unfortunately for some and thankfully for others, you know, some people are hype about it, some people not so much. I fall in the not so much part of that uh it'll be cool to see what the you know the ev models and all that but i like sound i like that raw power you know that raw feel so you know one thing that i will say with all this going on before we jump into it you guys see the title you see the thumbnail hellcat prices are gonna go booming you know they're, they're already pretty high as it is they're just gonna go even higher in my opinion i think they're just gonna skyrocket through the roof now that this information has come out and we'll get into all the information you guys heard like there's there's a couple different things that they break down in this article and motor trend is a pretty reliable pretty reputable source you know this isn't coming from just any third party or you know random news store so we'll get into all the details break it all down but basically the hellcat is coming to an end you know an era is coming to an end one of the greatest eras in muscle car history if not the greatest an era that changed everything dodge came in with the hellcat five six years ago and really changed everything really revolutionized the game and how everybody was doing things and now that era is coming to an end from what i'm reading here and maybe even the 6.4s and the 5.7s as well but my prediction right off the bat those hellcat prices are gonna go crazy so if you guys have a hellcat or if you're thinking about getting a hellcat i would say now is the time if you have a hellcat might want to think about holding on to that thing because people were saying it already they were saying the value of these cars are going to go up people are telling me don't sell the 6.4 and this and that and i do agree but the hellcat really is going to be the one so we're going to get right into it we ain't going to waste no time if it sounds like something you guys are interested in stick around if you guys enjoy if you find it helpful like comment subscribe it helps out tremendously i appreciate it greatly without further ado let's get right to it all right so let's get right into it you guys can see the title it says dodge bombshells Chargers Challengers gone by 2024. EV arrives soon. A busy next two years sees Dodge planning an EV plug-in hybrid and third significant new vehicle. So they're planning an EV, which is the one right here, you know, the one that everybody was kind of hyped about. It looks dope right here in this picture. If it looks anything like that, it does look dope. I will say that. Plug-in hybrid. Y'all can have that, not, in, not interested in it at all, um, but they're planning for that as well. And a third significant new vehicle. I don't know what that is. Could it be the Ghoul, the Hellafin engine? I don't know, man. Did they find a way to do it? If that's the case, if they're getting rid of the Hellcat to bring that in, I think the price of the Hellcat will still go up for sure. The value is going to increase. This as anything would that becomes more scarce. You know, it, obviously the price is going to go up on that because less of them are going to be around. But if that's the case, that would be something to get super hype about. That would be crazy because that's like, you know, the opposite of what we're thinking. You know, they're moving towards EV and electric to comply more with the regulations and all that. But now if they go with the ghoul and they're doing that, they're kind of like going towards both parties you know what i'm saying they're satisfying both they're satisfying the hardcore muscle fans that want that raw power and they're satisfying the people that want more environmental friendliness so to say even though making those batteries and getting rid of those batteries takes a lot of energy so i mean we're not going to get into all that but that would be pretty crazy let's continue on with this article we're not going to read all of it i'll probably just skim through it you know all the important parts so right here where it says now we know how serious Dodge is about reinventing American muscle for the electric vehicle era. Early 2022, we will see the first Dodge electric muscle car concept. So early 2022, which is damn near right around the corner, we're already at the end of 2021, we're going to see the first Dodge electric muscle car concept. But it says followed by a plug-in. Oh, so that's the EV that they're talking about. Followed by a plug-in hybrid and a third significant vehicle. So next year, we're going to be seeing a whole lot. And Next year is like a month away, like literally weeks away. So 
man, this stuff is right around the corner. People were thinking it was going to be years down the line, but this stuff is right around the corner. So it goes on to say there also would be gas powered buzz vehicles for enthusiasts in the lead up 2024 when the first EV will hit the road. So there's also going to be some gas power. OK, so we still got some gas powered vehicles from what they're saying leading up to 2024. And that's when the EV will hit the road. So we'll get the concept next year sometime, a few months, and then it'll hit the road in 2024. And that's what we've seen earlier when the first news dropped about it. But Dodge will stop production of its current pair of high octane muscle cars, the Challenger Coupe and Charger Sedan in two years and replace them with new cars on new platforms. So the Challenger and the Charger are gonna go away in two years. Day, bro. Oh man, I don't know. And I'm in the middle of like selling my Charger. I mean, I already knew all this obviously, but when you continue to read it and continue to hear about it, it kind of hits home a little more. So yeah newer platform vehicles so that's i don't know we'll see what it what they look like i don't know if they'll be older dodge vehicles to replace that or just totally new ones uh so i guess we'll see on new platforms it says so i don't know man i don't know how to feel about that i don't know whether i'm not really hyped because obviously i love the challenger and the charger and people really wanted to see changes in that but instead they're just getting rid of them so uh, i don't know i don't know how to feel about that Dodge brand CEO Tim Kaniskis only just announced in July that Dodge would have its first pure EV in 2024. We kind of thought we would have to wait a while to see just how Dodge was going to tackle the future. Turns out we were too patient because the future, at least at Dodge, is almost now. True. Big news in a nutshell, the first electric muscle car concept will be revealed early next year. We covered that. A plug-in hybrid car will go into production by the end of 2022. I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about that. You guys might be hype about that. I don't care. A third significant new vehicle is in the works. So we should hear more about that next year, hopefully. That is pretty interesting. Don't know how to feel about that, though, because we haven't seen it. We haven't heard much about it. Electric vehicles will wear the Frat's Dog symbol. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Probably didn't. Frat's Dog. Um, but that is this symbol right here. I, I know this is the older Dodge symbol, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just see. Let's see. Why Why should we guess when we got Google right here? There we go right here. Boom. Brad's Dog logo. And yeah, that's it. That is it. So, hey, that logo is actually pretty dope. I like that logo. So, that's cool with me. That logo looks sick. So, let's continue reading this. Big news in a nutshell. More buzz models for gearheads are coming along with direct connection parts and kit. That's pretty dope. Um, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see what they say about that. More news on that. Current lineup of muscle cars will end production in 2024. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to think of all this. I don't know if they're totally, from what they're saying in this, they're making it sound like Dodge is totally getting rid of the Charger and the Challenger, like completely just getting rid of them. I don't know if that's really the fact of what's happening or if that's when, like we thought, they're going to revamp how they look, change the chassis, come out with a whole new look to the Dodge Charger and Dodge Challenger. Or if like they're making it sound in this, they're just completely getting rid of it. Because we thought in 2024, that's when we were getting the whole new look and the new design and all that. So I don't really know what to think now. It's kind of this kind of crazy. Goes on to say it is all part of the two year plan called Never Lift. It has a series of product related announcements designed to appease a split consumer base. Those who will embrace electrification and those vehemently, I don't know what the hell vehemently is, but pardon me for that. You know, I'm not going to Google it right now, but you guys might know what that means. Vehemently, they wanted to use some big words in this, opposed to the idea and have sent Kaniski's death threat. <laughs> I 100% I believe that they for sure have received death threats. So like I said, they're kind of going towards both parties here. You know, whether it's the ghoul, I don't know. I'm, you could stay hopeful for sure. I'm staying hopeful. Maybe that maybe it is. Uh, we shall see. But they're going to try to cater to both parties here. For 24 months, we are feeding the beast. Kaniskis told us in an interview. So for only 24 months or... Dodge cars for EVers and anti EVers. I'm juggling knives because I've got to keep two different huge factions happy because at some point those two factions will converge. Problem is no one knows when they will converge. My job is provided a confidence over the next 24 months that we're going to do this. Okay, so like I said, pretty much reiterating what we've been talking about. Dodge reveal three vehicles, significant all buyers, with spectrum can said, other pending vehicles will appear. Basically, that's just talking about what we just talked about is just saying it in his words, you know, letting you know that 
this stuff actually came from his mouth. First Dodge electric muscle car, a concept that could be as early as the first quarter of 2022, but no later than the second quarter. All right, so first quarter, no later than the second quarter. So like I said, a few months away, it will be a high performance, drivable, testable concept. Dodge is applying for patents on electrification. Once that is done, the automaker will use the concepts to show how American muscle can be redefined with the use of electric motors. This will be the first all electric vehicle for Dodge, 114 brand under Solanus. Blah, blah we already know about all that dodge plug-in hybrid but not a durango there will be a new plug-in hybrid with the dodge badge it will be new car dodge will show it soon kanuski says and will go into production by the end of 2022 it remains to be seen if it bears a new nameplate so it could be a new vehicle or it could be one of the existing vehicles but it's not a Durango so I don't know I would think it would probably be more like a compass or something like that it's already sort of a damn electric or at least it feels like it or a hybrid I should say I would think it's going to be something like that the fact that it will be a new car rules out previous speculation of the PHP would be an addition to the Durango SUV family it would have made sense because the Durango's cousin Grand Cherokee adds plug-in hybrid variants early 2022 but the fifth generation Jeep Grand Cherokee has moved to the new platform the Durango has not yet made that leap staying on version Jeep's archive both Cherokee and Durango are some so the Cherokee is getting um, a hybrid I guess that's something we already knew about in early 2022. And won't say if or when the Durango moves to new platform undermine the Grand Cherokee. Other than to say nothing is imminent, he also is leaving the door open to the possibility that the Durango will not be a part of the newly defined Dodge lineup of the future. So are they getting rid of the Durango or is the Durango just going to stay the same? I don't know. Take it for how you want with that. And then we get into the significant third new model for Dodge. In addition for the battery, electric Dodge car, and plug-in hybrid car, Kaniskis is promising to show us a third vehicle key to Dodge's future. The third one is going to be a very, very, very significant car at the end of the year, he says. No details yet, despite our pleading. So that's the one he seems very hype about. He said very, 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 you know, so we'll see what that is. I don't know. Ooh, I, don't, I don't know man we shall see so we already went over the symbol that they're gonna use buzz vehicles for enthusiasts dodge will not forget about its base there will be more buzz vehicles which will be of interest to enthusiasts who want to continue to push traditional muscle car with powerful internal combustion engines so they ain't forgetting about us who want that raw power we'll see what they come out with whether it's cool or not, that's yet to be seen. Sometimes newer ain't always better. So I don't know. I'm holding my judgment for that. Dodge hasn't really disappointed. You know, they've done they've done good by us so far. So we'll see. I don't know. And the brand is bringing back direct connection performance parts and kits with news that will also be huge. Brother, the muscles, some of the buzz models, first excited about it. It will be super pumped to the average person. It won't be that big of a deal. So I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but I guess we shall see. So that pretty much sums all that up. If you guys want to see it, type in Motor Trend Hellcat and then go to the news section and you'll see it. So there it is. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Drop a comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Kind of been getting a whole lot of news coming out lately. And I I personally don't really know how to feel. Uh, I don't know. Like they weren't really too specific. They made it seem like Dodge is getting rid of the Charger, getting rid of the Challenger. It's like going away. They're making it seem like the Hellcat is going away. They didn't really touch on the 6.4, the 5.7, but I assume that goes along with it. But I don't, I don't know. Like it could just be getting revamped, new design. They said that they're bringing in some new stuff. But from what it sounds like, the Hellcat is going away. And obviously that means price is going to go up. So... If you guys are thinking about getting the Hellcat, thinking about getting one of these vehicles, now might be the time before the price just continues to go up. If you guys are thinking about selling one of these vehicles, Hellcat especially, Gat Pack, I'm in that boat. I'm like literally, I mean, I've told you guys already, I'm gonna sell it. I'm getting the new Z. I'm still getting the new Z. I mean, I've already made my decision, like I wanna sell it, um, but this does kind of make you like, kind of sit back and rethink it. Like, do I really wanna get rid of this? Like, it's literally going away. The value of these vehicles are gonna shoot up through the roof. But me personally, I'm pretty confident about my financial situation in the near future and in the future. So I don't really wanna base it just off the value going up. I wanna base it off how I feel, what I want, you know, not off, money alone like oh, how much money is this gonna be worth you know i wanna i wanna go off what i personally want so i'll have more thinking to do 
I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Are you going to sell your vehicles? If, I know a lot of people have been considering because the price right now is crazy. You know, is it just going to continue to get higher? More than likely for sure for the Hellcat, more than likely for these vehicles, if they're going away for sure. And that's what it sounds like. It's just like the stock market. When things like this come out, news like this comes out, prices shoot up. You know, but is it a buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing? I don't know. I guess we shall see. For now, it's just a rumor. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. I don't really know what to think because it's kind of like we don't know if we could take this for fact until Dodge Official really comes out with the article or says it themselves. Motor Trend is a reliable, reputable source. They did make it seem like they're getting rid of this stuff. So we shall see. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. It helps out tremendously. I appreciate it greatly. That's going to do it for this one. All links are down below in the description for anything you guys might need the social platforms the gaming channel the 1391 apparel with the new logo got a lot of stuff over there check it out if you guys are interested but until the next time i'm gonna catch you guys soon who is louis 13 checking out Ooh.